Elden Ring. Easily one of the most anticipated games in recent history, and I played through two hours so far. Wanted to get a short video out about my early thoughts on the game. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Honestly, it helps so much and means the world to me. Now, let's get started. The first thing I want to discuss is the character creation. The first selection for your type of character is really neat. Lots of different stats for each, and a good variety. Usually in Souls games, I go as a magic user, it's just my playstyle. But for Elden Ring, I felt a bit different and went with the hero class. But I was tempted to be rich. The actual customization is amazing and in-depth. I was able to somehow make a beard look like metal, which I never even thought about. It gives my character a cool backstory about having a metal beard put on after getting slashed by some monster thing and having his beard torn off. I love giving random backstories like this to my characters. Finally getting to go outside, honestly everything looks pretty cool. Uh, this looks just chaotic and a mess. It's got a really cool looking golden tree. And before we go into anything else, here's my first death. Yeah, that's totally on me. After exploring a bit and jumping around in the first area and getting killed by that initial boss, I went to the next area, and the first thing I wanted to do was go fight something. And I have to admit, the jump I did at first was really cool, but I died. I didn't know how to use items, I fought again, and died, and again, and again. But this is the part of the charm with these games. You have to figure out how to fight enemies and take them out the correct way. And once you do, it feels like you earned it. And I had that same exact feeling with every enemy I fought. The fighting mechanics are really smooth. Each button input is immediately registered, and it honestly makes you feel like a bit of a badass. Now let's talk about the first dungeon experience. Souls-type games like this love to have enemies jump out at you randomly while they're in hiding, which is something I forgot at first, but that's just part of exploring a dungeon or anywhere for that matter. This was a fairly easy one to figure out and a good experience for any new players. Got past some fire, got to switch, and boom, door to boss is open. Now I absolutely hate this cat-dog thing. Not because it's a difficult boss, but just because it's terrifying, which honestly I do kind of like. It has stiff movements, it just looks so unnatural. It's a great design, but it's still going to be my nightmares. Unfortunately, after dying too much, I had to stop playing for the night because I really need some sleep. There are a lot of elements to the game that I didn't talk about. I just want to keep this short and let any potential new players experience it for themselves. Overall, I'm loving this experience so far. The game is fantastic to dive into and just get into an entirely new world. Look forward to an official review once I finish the game. Until next time, just keep being kind to people. I'll talk to you later.